So, the next step, go to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Green Palette in the light. We'll be using all of these colors. Again, using one of the brushes from my Sigma kit for cream contouring. For now, I'm going to use the foundation brush. So, I'm going to take the banana in the palette and I'm going to put the banana under my eye. And a triangular -er 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 shape. Grab a little bit of more banana. And I'm kind of following my natural lining of under my eye. And then just kind of bringing it down. And then connecting the dots. So silly. So silly. Okay. All right, so banana is down. Next color is neutral. I'm going to take a little neutral. So banana is more yellowy. Neutral is more like a pinky tone. And pinky isn't bad. So I'm going to take banana, I mean neutral, and I'm going to kind of go a little over top of banana. Okay, mind you, this is a little much. You don't really have to conceal this much, but I like a really, really right under eye. It brings you and makes you alive. I'm also gonna take neutral and bring it to my chin a little. Then I'm gonna bring it to the bridge of my nose. And because the brush is so flat, all I do is just touch and swipe, touch and swipe. So it makes a perfectly little line that touches only the bridge of my nose. Sometimes I used to go like this, and what I was doing was like falling on the sides, which you don't want. But you will hear, you can do that here. All right, and then I'm going to take the last color, which is fair. And fair is obviously really light. And what I'm gonna do with fair is I'm just gonna go, and this is under my cheek. So right under my cheek, I'm just gonna make a line. So on top of this line is where my darker contour will go. Taking more light. I suck in my lips, so see that hollow there? That is the underneath of my cheek. Now, a lot of people actually don't use the foundation. They will do exactly what I'm doing here and then blend it all out, and that will be their, their foundation, and they'll set it with a powder. I do both because maybe because I'm crazy, I don't know. All right, so I put a little fear there just because I had a little extra on the brush. All right, so now that I did the light and I used one side of the brush, on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna use the darker contouring creams. Because I'm gonna start with a light sculpt, which is the middle brown color in this palette. And with this color, I actually like to go up here. And then just give myself a little tan. And then I'll take the more darker color, which is Havana, which is this last color um, on the palette. And this darker color I am going to use to carve out my lines and my cheeks. Do the other side. And what really helps me is that I've already kind of made that line with Fair. That, oh, that I can just create a line with Havana and it just it's easy what you could do is also to give you kind of like a little supple cheek is instead of going in a harsh line here and stopping you can kind of curve it so it kind of makes you really look like you got those cheeks see almost looks like I got a mustache but don't worry we're gonna lighten that up Okay, okay, okay. And then I'm gonna take the last color, which is Java, which is the first one, which is the one I love the most. And then I'm just gonna darken that up and then bring it back. I'm 
again, I'm just pouncing and pulling upward. When you contour, you never want to drag down. You always want to pull up from wherever you started the line. Because you started the line at the lowest possible part. That's what you always want to do with your contour. You start, you start your line at the lowest possible part of your contour and then you pull product up and out, up and out, up and out. Kind of like what I'm doing in a bouncy motion. And see? Just a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a contour. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my Anastasia palette and I'm going to take the color Java. I'm just gonna go ahead and... So look at when you do your contour, it's a one, two, and three. Three is this line right here. Right away, look at that, it created a shadow. My ch double chin is gone. Too many double cheeseburgers. We need a lot of Java. <laughs> so anytime you contour, you wanna think of doing the number three. Because the number three symbolizes what you need to do for contour. This is one, this is two, and then this is three. Oh, I'm loving this freaking foundation brush. Okay, well, I have plenty, I've used plenty, and this one is really freaking good. I mean, you wanna go slow. You wanna start off with a little bit and then just work your way and build your way up. You really don't need too much, but I, I, I do. This chin is really doubled, and I'm just trying to get it to thin out. I mean, you guys can already see. See, that's my, that was my skinny face. Okay, <laughs> and apparently my Michael Jackson face too. <laughs> Boom. And I take the Java again and just really quickly with my nose, with the pointy side, see how little. It's just really quick, like this. And you kind of want to bring it, kind of touching your eyebrow almost. But I barely have any product on this, FYI. And then just bring it around town. Bring it around town. Take a loop around your nose. I love it when my nose looks skinny. And I didn't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get it done. Because my mind got thousands of dollars. And I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit more even though it actually blended in really good Like I said when you use high-end products, they kind of just melt They melt away. Not to mention I did use that foundation brush that really helped move the product <laughs> so Zoom and then take your little end of your beauty blender and kind of just pounce 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 when I pounce I'm pouncing and I'm pulling back So I'm pulling it down. This is the only time yes, you'll pull down because you can't really go up and then I'll do the other side. Pull down, pull down, pull down. And then kind of just make sure the little ball of the nose. So yeah, that is how I do my foundation, people. Well, once that's done, what I'll do is I'll then, I will set everything. So I have the Anastasia powders, but I really, 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 really love the Kat Von D. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what it is about these, but these are the bomb.com, like seriously. <sighs> anyway, so to set my under eye makeup really quick, I will tap everything out with my beauty blender and then put powder on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna use the Tapered Face F25 brush. It's like a little dome brush, comes up to a little peak. It is very fluffy and whatnot. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and make sure I tap out all those creases. Okay. I'm not gonna close my eye. I am going to use the Banana E shade. I don't know, it's all like blurred out in the back. It is, I don't know. Eerie? Eerie, I think it's called. Okay. When you do this, this will help from creasing. Okay, so I did that. Oh my god, I got an itch. Oh my god, I don't know why every time I do my makeup, my nose itch. Anyway. Alright, so tap it out again on the other side. 
Now when you tap it out and you leave your, you know, you have your eyes like this all wide, you need to leave them that way till that powder hits them eyes, girl. Or boring, whatever. I don't discriminate. Makeup has no gender. Okay, so. I'm tapping it out. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this brush. Okay, it's in there like swimwear. I don't even know if that makes any sense. It's in there like swimwear? Like what? These brushes are awesome. Anyway, so that powder's on there. Then I will take those. Is that was banana. I'm gonna use this one, which is like the lighter color lighter pinker color. It's more of a cool color instead of warm. So I'm gonna use that one. And I'm gonna use that one to set like down here where I did that white line. Just a little bit. I mean, I'm not really, and again, I'll do this side. See that where that little white line was. I'll take this to set here. Take a little bit. Oh wait, nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of set over here. Okay, then I'm gonna take that one, this, which is the more pinkier, warmer tone, and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna highlight my forehead with that one. And I am using the same brush for everything. I'm gonna take the larger angled contour brush, F30, from Sigma. Okay, and I'm gonna take the color here in the middle and I'm gonna set everything with that I'm not really gonna use any of the darker shades right now I'm just gonna go ahead and use that tap out my brush a little bit and I do not tap my brush out all over the floor no 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 I tap it right there on top of that color so that excess falls on that color and then I'm just gonna oh this brush is amazing I'm just gonna set all of this see that Okay, so again, pick up what I tapped out before and I'm gonna just bring this here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, bring it up to the temples. Again, grabbing the co same color in the middle and kind of just bringing this into life here. And again, you don't want to go below what you created as a contour. You just want to... And I'm kind of moving in circular motion. Not like literally circular, but like... Yeah. And I'm kind of using that U-shape too. You can use a U-shape. And then again, picking up that color. Bringing it up to the temples. Now I'm going to go to the forehead. Again, I love how all that excess is gone already because I've been using it. I think I've let that chip go to waste. And then you really kind of want to go on the hairline for this because that's what's going to really help you get it all blended. Then this one, I'm literally going in circular motion because it's a bigger surface that we're covering. Really big. So we got it all contoured. And really quick what I do, and I always do this, is I'm gonna bake just a little bit. No, I'm not gonna like cook a cake, but I'm gonna bake my thing. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of clean up my contour again and just let it bake. Now baking, all that means is you're just putting powder down and you're letting it sit on your face. That is literally all baking is. And what baking it does, it, it really allows you an opportunity to make some mistakes and clean them up. It's like an eraser. You know? A little dab on the nose never hurt nobody. 
and I'm just using this like square sponge kind of thing but yeah so that's all you're doing and what it does is when you let it sit on your face it actually helps um, and I already sat under my eyes but I'm gonna do it again it just helps to keep everything on there in place show you what I use it's the Sephora bright set <laughs> loose powder this is what I'm using I mean it works good but I don't like the packaging but yeah this is what you do I'm not leaving it on for a long time you can leave it on for 5 10 15 minutes whatever you want um, I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit because I don't really need that harsh of a bake. Sometimes the longer you leave it on, the darker the, the you know the stain will look. And then I'm just using that to wipe all this off. And as you can see, so it's a stain. It kind of left a clean line, but I mean, of course, you want to blend it. Boom. Well, um, if you guys have any questions about my foundation, contouring, setting routine, please let me know. It passed. <laughs> I had a crack in my back. <sighs> Makeup is dangerous. <laughs>